sub guys over of here with another episode of drips as always nothing here is financial advice always do your own research and the links gonna be in description but follow them at your own risk we're gonna start with Linea. we got week four i mean technically it's not week four it's nft reveal it's pretty short you need to do the tasks by may 28th and then you have uh, additional time to actually claim the rewards tasks here are purely social so first of all you need to watch the youtube video then retweet the tweet and then lastly you need to vote on snapshot.org you get one vote so you use that to vote on the um, swag what swag designs do you like basically and there is uh, also some additional information here in the post that uh, you can read and once you do these tasks you can just claim your rewards then we got another commemorative nft from base for this one i will link the article not the actual minting link the article actually explicitly states that base has no plans to issue a network token obviously it's not 100 percent proof that we're never going to see a token but again, given the regulatory scrutiny currently, I believe that it's highly unlikely that we're going to see token anytime soon. But nevertheless, this NFT is up for grabs and to mint it, you need to go uh, to the bottom of this article. First of all, there is a lot of cool stuff here that you can read on. And then here when it says mint the path to base uh, mainnet NFT. Uh, you can mint it. There is six days left and in order to mint it you need to switch to optimism and you also need to pay uh, some gas on optimism. I'm not even sure that I have enough. Looks like I do have enough. So that's it for this one and next we got guild XYZ and they actually created their own guild. You can click the link in this tweet. So here you can get the roles obviously check out what is available here and then you can mint the guild pin if i understand this correctly they're like introducing the system of pins it's not free it costs one matic fee uh, for the mint and then some gas next up we have two free mints the first one is on magic eden and this is for arcadians reloaded here you just need to follow some socials and you will be registered. The mint is going to happen on June 6, uh, 12 p.m. UTC time. And the second mint is going to be Mystery Boxes from Born to Die game. Uh, this is a project in Earn Alliance ecosystem. Here you also need to follow socials and the mint itself will happen in um, 7 a.m. UTC time, uh, May 26. And for this means there are three uh, tiers of rarity here. 70% you will get the Eclipse, Eclipse box, 25% uh, that you will get the Mystic box, and 5% for the Mirage box. And also these boxes, they already traded on uh, OpenSea. At least they've been listed, not much uh, trading volume uh, right now. They will probably go down in price after the mint, but this is still free apart from the fact that in both cases actually here and on magic eden as well obviously you will need to pay some medic for the mint on polygon and also one additional point about this uh, project they do offer minting these discord badges i haven't researched anything about this project however i went ahead and minted so it's completely up to you obviously i'm just feeding the info Okay, now we get a batch of Galaxy campaigns and we're gonna start with uh, Symbiosis and Zeta Chain campaign. It has a pretty regular format of the Symbiosis campaigns. It consists of four NFTs with their own tasks. One is totally social, then we get two NFTs uh, for the test net. So here, for example, if you open the first one, uh, you can see that you need to make a cross chain from ETH Girly or BNB testnet to Zeta chain via Symbiosis. If you click here, there is a link and gets you to the website. And here we need to pick either BNB, these are testnets, or Girly. For example, if I put BNB, as you can see, BSC testnet. And here you need to select Zeta chain Athens 2 and the token. 
So there are three tokens available. Well, basically two tokens because this is Zeta and this is Rep Zeta. And then we have USDT. So for this task, you can, for example, choose Zeta and then swap a small amount of testnet BNBs. As you can see, currently service is overloaded. So we'll have to come back to this later. So once you do the swap, you will have some amount of Zeta tokens and we'll need these tokens for the second quest. Because in the second quest, it says that we need to make on-chain swap on Zeta chain. Uh, for example, swapping Zeta to USDT or swap USDT to Zeta, doesn't matter. So we need the tokens from the first step. And then the third quest is actually on the main net. This has nothing to do with Zeta. Uh, you just need to do 25 USD worth of assets cross-chain swap on Symbiosis mainnet. For example, swap USDTs on Binance to USDCs on ZK Sync. And as always, gas is not covered here, so expect to pay for gas on Binance Smart Chain. Next, we get the campaign from the order home. This is DeFi application on Arbitrum. And first, they have this OET, it says order home airdrop certificate. I didn't dive into details of that yet. Claim period is until June 2nd. Here are fully socials and you can claim uh, the OET. Gas is not covered, however. And also they have the given away a special Discord role for this one. It's also weirdly done uh, via the Galaxy. You just need to confirm, well, join the Discord, uh, verify as always, and you can claim this role. They also hold the merchandise campaign, but this one for the active members of the community. And you can find more information about it on the Discord. Next, we get the Meme Coin Week campaign from the Trust Wallet. It's basically gonna consist of five giveaways. Currently, the two giveaways are open. I will link this page, the Trust Wallet page on Galaxy, and then you can click here when they appear to if you want to participate, obviously. So, how it goes basically, all tasks are social. And here it says that you need to use the trust wallet address uh, to be eligible for the rewards. And in terms of prizes, every giveaway, I don't know why they did it. Prizes are super huge. Like there are 10 prizes of 500 USD each. So the prize is huge, but the chances of winning are obviously pretty much non-existent. However, all OATs are free and gas is covered. So for this one, you're basically getting five free OATs. And also you can try your luck uh, with this, but that's like winning a lottery. Next up, we have campaign for the Arc Digital. And on this one, it's not purely social. You will need to do uh, some trading on the testnet. You need to go to the testnet page. Here, once you connect the wallet, you need to click earn points and then check the event. And it will take you to the medium articles where you can read all about the rules of how to acquire these points. So here you need to do some work and also pay the gas to meet that. However, it says with the shiny collectible, you might just unlock some sweet rewards and benefits down the line. And the deadline for this campaign is June 9th. And the last campaign on Galaxy is going to be Say Pandas and Say Bunnies uh, partnership OAT. You can see that they're giving a away some OG rolls, whitelist rolls, and so also some allocation of future tokens. You just need to do some socials and then gas is also covered, so completely free. And speaking about say, Mizu Marketplace will hold some mint tomorrow at 4 p.m. UTC. Tomorrow means uh, May 26th. We don't know the exact rules yet, only states that it's on first come first serve basis. And also the dot say domains, they were supposed to open the second round of whitelisting for registering the, well, dot say domains, but they postpone it until tomorrow. So keep an eye on announcements. It's all kind of unclear for now who's going to be eligible, but again, check the Discord, the Twitter for more information. And lastly, I want to touch on Treasures of Shimmer campaign. If you participated in that, first of all, the rewards from the Zilli campaign has been distributed. I got around uh, 830 SMR tokens from Zilli campaign. I think with the current value, it's around like 45 USD or something. And also if you participated in the Tangle Swap campaign, it was super easy to get the top 500 uh, in Zilli if you did all the swaps that were required. 
and they also posted instructions on how you can get your nft it's right now unclear how valuable these gonna be but given very limited supply once the market settles i will bet on the price somewhere around like 1000 smr probably for these nfts so that's all i wanted to cover in this video if you found it helpful please drop a like help with sharing also consider subscribing to the channels if you have any questions comments suggestions leave them down in the comments thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time